Do you ever run out of memory on your laptop and you're not sure how to get more without replacing your hard drive or you want to move large files from one computer to another? Um, maybe you just want to keep some files on the network and have them available all the time across different um, computers. Well, let's look at one way you can do this. So uh, what I have is one of several that I have in the house and these are external hard drives and you can buy them in different sizes and shapes. This one is a portable one and it's quite old. It doesn't say how, how much memory is in but I'm sure it's not very much because it's more than 10 years old and it just plugs into the laptop. I have a power cable that can go into it as well and then I can put a lot of large files. Now, what I've done in the past is put all of my data files on for training, and then when I go to a client site, I get the IT department to check it, and then I can put whatever I'm training, Excel, intro, advanced, whatever course, I can just copy all the files into um, the system there, and that way it's easy for me to use my own files. Um, also, what I've done is I've taken it on holiday when I've wanted to put photos on my computer, but photos are quite big because my camera is a, a good camera. So I put them on my external hard drive. Now around the house, I have a couple as well, and I've connected them to my um, mesh system and which my mesh system kind of expands my internet and if you'd like a video on mesh systems do put that in the comments below but I've got mine connected to the mesh system and that way on my uh, computer upstairs and my tablet downstairs I can still look at the same files and I put most of my files on those and that way I can just pick them up whenever I need to when I'm working either upstairs or downstairs. So that's a, a removable hard drive. They're quite useful. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, put them below in the comments. And if you'd like to see a couple of different models that I've got and I've used, do put that in the comments and I'll do another video on that. If you found this video useful, helpful, or interesting, please do click on that thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more. And there should be a video up at the top that you can click on with some more useful gadgets or tips on computers. Thanks so much and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye for now.